You probably noticed your grocery bill cost more, chicken and poultry prices way up. News 19's Madison Neal joins us with why and how some shoppers are adapting. Your average grocery store trip is going to cost you about 8% more, and that's according to statistics from the Bureau of Labor. But if you're paying attention to which specific items are price jumping, chicken is up about 17% since last October. It's terrible. The price has gone up and, and the stock on the shelves are low. Experts say the increase in poultry prices is due to strong consumer demand and increased production costs like chicken feed and fuel cost. While bird flu wreaked havoc on chickens used for egg production, driving up egg prices 43% in a year, it isn't responsible for driving up the cost of broilers, which are chickens used for meat production. And restaurant owners are feeling the pinch. During the pandemic, chicken prices were more than double what we originally paid when we opened in 2019. And I'm, that's not an exaggeration, it's literally more than double. Uh, they've gone up and down kind of like a roller coaster, but they've nowhere come nowhere close to what it was when we first opened. Eugene Jung with Champy's Chicken says they're managing the best they can. We have no control over what we pay for our chicken, right? But we can manage labor, we can manage costs in certain area, other areas. Uh, maybe a little bit on utilities, but really we, we're at the mercy of the cost of the, of the goods, right? We're selling a tender basket. Say you sell something for $5, you can't double the price for the same thing and expect consumers to absorb that. And some consumers are changing their buying habits. I try to compensate and, and not buy as much meat and do some cheaper things because it's really expensive. Another type of meat seeing a price increase is lunch meat. That's up 19% this year, according to government statistics. Reporting in Huntsville, Madison Neal, News 19. The prices of chicken and turkey have gone up by 17% since last October. Meanwhile, the cost of beef and veal actually down 3.6%.